Hey everybody, it's Stephen Get Money Myrick here, and in today's video, it's going to be a smorgasbord of topics. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about the Labyrinth Adventure, which is a new event that DH Games is releasing. It's going to be a very quick rundown of just a few of my original thoughts about it. Nothing specific, just a few tips that I might have as we enter this new event and what we can expect. I'll also be doing a 30 summons of cores on my account, so you can stick around if you want to and see my amazing luck that I always get on core summons uh, whenever I do my Server 23 account. So I'm sure it'll be blessed and amazing. And I also did just want to say that I want to give a big thank you to everybody that watched my uh, hoarding video from Balzac. Uh, that video blew up, so I really appreciate everybody that watched it. Uh, I did want to confirm that I will be back with his account uh, using his cores, so we will be spending all 255 cores in a later date. So make sure you check out that video. And the number one way you're going to know is by being subscribed. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. But let's get on and talk about the Labyrinth Adventures. So as I mentioned with Labyrinth Adventures, obviously I don't know what to expect. You know, everybody's just guessing about what we can expect. But I did want to give a very, very quick rundown of it and what you might expect on Thursday and just a few general tips if you're new to the game about what you can expect at least. Uh, going through, I did want to say a big thank you to Relic. As always, Relic is on top of it on the Reddit. So thank you, Relic, for releasing all these images together and putting them all together for us. But the Labyrinth Adventure is a new mode with an Idle Heroes. Uh, so excited about that. Uh, just anything that is new. It seems like it's going to be a little bit like the Russell event, if you remember the Russell event where we were flipping tiles for rewards. It's also going to be like Imp Adventure where, you know, it's a little bit more active of a weekly event, a little bit RNG-based. Uh, so all those things are, I think, good for the health of the game. Uh, but basically it's going to revolve around the fact that you will pick one of your Transcendence heroes. We'll see if they add Jara later in the future. And there will be a map that you're on. And within this map, you'll be able to open tiles and you'll be able to use your powers. Uh, if you're a specific hero, you can see that this is uh, Asmodel. No, this is Swordflash Zia's thing that she clears a row. Asmodel clearing a column and... Uh, Halora clearing all the tiles around here. So it's like when you get those special powers, you can re uh, get more tiles like taken care of. Uh, but basically you're going to be exploring the maze. You'll have pickaxes. You'll be getting different rewards and just going through, trying to get to these exits and move on to higher levels. Uh, a few notes about some things that I did take away. One is that you won't be able to save this currency for another event. So definitely you're going to want to spend all of your pickaxes, all of your ability to open tiles within this event. The other big, big thing I'd recommend is that as long as the resources don't go away, I would wait a couple days uh, for content creators. You know, people, I'm not going to name names, but you know there are people out there that are on top of putting content out there and want you to get their views. I will not be one of them. I will be taking a day or two to really soak this in, figure out what's going on, maybe even longer. Uh, so definitely just make sure you're aware of what you're doing uh, before you start spending resources. That's me assuming that they don't go away and there's no like time limit uh, if you don't spend them right away and that you can knock this out. Just like the Imp Adventures, you could wait until the last day uh, because it's yet to be seen about exactly what you'll get and what you want to be doing. Obviously, these bonuses, some of them are pretty interesting. There's ways to get more resources, ways to target different resources, and there is ways to get um you know the evolution materials for your star spawns the ones that come in the 70 dollars packs there's actually the ability to get those uh on the final level but i didn't want to say you know i'm not getting my hopes up too too much because my guess is this will be a couple hundred dollars if you're trying to complete it all the way my guess is it'll be similar to impetus adventure to get to the end but probably even harder because there's 10 star things there's that 70 dollar evolution materials so my guess is that you know free to play players are going to have a certain goal and then pay to win players are going to have a different goal for this event uh, but just the big things i would recommend are wait you know, don't just dive in right away because you might make some mistakes. Wait for a different content creator to hold your hand, uh, guide you through it. There's a lot of great people making great content about Idle Heroes right now. So definitely check those that out. And that's all I really wanted to say about the Labyrinth Adventure. I don't want to go too much deeper about it uh, because I don't know what I'm talking about. You can expect a video from me next week later on once I have a once I feel like I have a good grasp of it. If you want to wait for that video, uh, you could watch other content creators or you could go in yourself and just, you know, hope that you have good luck and know that this event will be coming in the future. But keep your eyes for that out for that video. And with that, let's move on to doing my core summons because I cannot wait to see how this goes. So we're back on my Server 23 account, this time to do 30 core summons. 
Uh, as you can see, I've done 212 summons so far, and I've only gotten nine spheres. If I would have gotten Guidance, I'd have uh, 14, uh, but instead I've been going Fate. And so I definitely need some good luck here. Uh, last video, I got one out of 30, so this video we're going to get three out of 30 at least and get that number up for sure. Uh, we are going for four C's. I have him at E3 right now. He'll be in the gym box next week. So getting a four C's copy would almost be as good as a sphere because that would uh, allow me to E5 him. Ticks is more just I need a second ticks. Eventually, it's not a huge priority, but we are going for ticks. And honestly, we're just hoping for luck with these spheres and seeing how things go. So uh, I just like and just not lucky. I always start with you know, this one, this middle one here, and, and definitely I need to switch that up because uh, that's probably what my problems are. Two down already. It's like every time there's just more gone. That feels good. That feels good. Give me another one. Faithful Aiden? Give me another one. You know you want to. And that's it, I believe. Okay. Well, we got a sphere. We got a sphere. Uh, you know, so if you go back to the last video, two out of 40, that's not actually that bad. And if we get a third one here, that would be three out of 50. And uh, that'd still be bad, but not as bad. So let's go ahead and see how it goes. Uh, we're, n well, we did get one. We're going to change it up. We're going to go like outside and then to the center. It definitely affects your summon rates, the pattern you use, without a doubt. There, there's no doubt about it at all. Okay, we got Tiggs. I got excited. I wanted the four C's. Walter. We needed some spheres. I definitely need a double sphere. I have never gotten a double sphere on this account at all. I've only gotten one double sphere in my life. It was for Glide Hans, a uh, guild member of mine. Crap. Crap. So now we're at two out of 50. If you count the last video and then the one before that, I don't even know if I got anything. I'm just so due for a double or a triple. It is insane. Just absolutely insane. And here we go. This is our last one. Uh, that luck did not work. We're going to start the middle one again. Uh, let's see how it goes. <clears throat> I just have no confidence. It's like my soul is getting crushed. Come on, please. <laughs> How many of these can I do? How many of these can I do without at least getting two? No four C's, no spheres. I've gotten two in the last 60. And then again, if you go back further, I think it was like my previous 20, I got zero. So I think I'm two in the last 80. I cannot stress this enough. Do not do this. Do not be like me. Do guidance. That is the number one lesson I will always give people. This game is already bad enough in our habits and our gambling habits. Like, try and avoid it when you can. You know, it's like I just want that double pull for the content. I want to make you all happy because I know you're just miserable watching me suffer. I know you don't enjoy it at all. Uh, but we're at 242 now, so we should have 16 spheres. Instead, we have 10. So we've missed out on six. We've missed out on... What, 1.5 million stellar shards? It's just brutal. It's just brutal, brutal, brutal. And like I said, I know you don't enjoy watching me suffer. I know you feel really bad for me right now uh, and are just crying that I don't just switch. But I'm not going to switch. Don't worry. I'll keep it on fate for you all. And we'll just see how long it takes for me to get another 30 cores so we can come back and do this again in about a month. Uh, it should be lots and lots of fun. But that's it for this video. I did want to say, again, thank you so much to everybody that watched that Bahalzak video. I will be back. It might take a little bit of time, specifically because of all the work involved, but also because there's that new event coming out where it encourages you to build new E5 heroes and to upgrade your stones. So if you are close to building an E5 hero, maybe wait just a few more days for that event to roll out so that you make sure you get the benefits of that. That's what I've recommended with Bahalzak because it's like you've been hoarding this long already. You might as well wait and you know actually get something out of these hordes because maybe you'll be able to knock out this new player event you know way quicker than everybody else will because you've been hoarding so much for so long but that's all i have in this video i hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you all in my next one bye